So you wanna get Pokecoins for free in Pokemon Go. I'm not gonna waste your time, let's get right into it. So the number one method to get Pokecoins for free in Pokemon Go, of course, is going to be gymming. We can't talk about free coins without talking about gymming. How gymming in Pokemon Go works is you will go up to a gym in which a gym can be held by one team color, whether that be Mystic, Instinct, or Valor. A gym can hold up to six Pokemon at once. If you have a Pokemon in a gym, that Pokemon will earn you one coin every 10 minutes, so six coins every hour, up to a max of 50 coins after eight hours and 20 minutes. However, the caveat here is to actually collect these coins from having your Pokemon in gyms. Your Pokemon needs to be knocked out of a gym. The way a Pokemon gets knocked out of a gym is if a player from another team comes to that gym and battles it, takes it down, then your Pokemon will be knocked out. And depending on how long that Pokemon was in that gym, you will get Poke Coins. Now note, there is a max of 50 coins per day for this strategy. So if you have five Pokemon in gyms, all five of them get knocked out on the same day, you're only getting 50 coins. But if every single day a different Pokemon gets knocked out and each of those Pokemon have been in gyms for at least eight hours and 20 minutes, you will get 50 coins that day, 50 coins, 50 coins, 50 coins, 50 coins. So it is very important to strategize where you're putting your Pokemon, which Pokemon you're healing, and overall your gymming strategy. So you're making sure not multiple of your Pokemon are being knocked out on the same day. And that's a perfect segue way into my gymming strategies. Now, the number one strategy to maximize on getting gym coins is going to be, of course, talk to your local players. Like it's that simple. If you know some local players are on team Valor and you're on team Instinct or Mystic or whatever, and you guys are not on the same team, you guys can coordinate gymming. I know a lot of people in the local areas do this, but one trainer will drop in the morning. The other trainer will wait eight hours and 20 minutes, and then they'll go to that gym, knock that player out of the gym, throw their Pokemon in the gym, and then vice versa. The next player will come along after eight hours and 20 minutes, and it's a total organized system. This will make sure that everyone gets their 50 coins every single day and is getting knocked out at the correct time. However, of course, not everyone can do that. And that brings us on to strategy number two. If you do not have people to coordinate gymming with, the best strategy is going to be to dump Pokemon as much as you can into gyms. Go around every gym you see and throw in as many Pokemon as you can into gyms. You can have actually up to 20 Pokemon in gyms at once. Now here's where the strategy comes in. When you give a Pokemon in a gym a golden raspberry, that motivation of that Pokemon will go back up to full. I didn't talk about motivation, but motivation is how easy it is to take out a Pokemon in a gym. The longer the Pokemon stays in a gym, the less motivation motivation they have, which means the easier it is to battle it and take it out. But if you give it a golden raspberry, it'll completely fill up that motivation back to full. So what you can do is if you have five Pokemon in gyms, heal four of those Pokemon with full motivation. So heal all those Pokemon back to max motivation. You can actually even heal the other Pokemon in the gyms from other trainers. So you can make sure that gym is at full motivation and is pretty tough to take down. But then the other gym, you're going to want to go ahead and let it be and let it lose motivation. This will make that one gym with that Pokemon that doesn't have a lot of motivation a lot more enticing for any trainer walking by to knock out. So then they will go ahead and knock that out, but trainers will probably avoid the nope. Pokemon gyms that you already fully healed and gave full motivation. Obviously this is not a foolproof method, but Golden Raz healing certain gyms to make sure they are scary and not a lot of people want to battle them. And then leaving one of your Pokemon in gyms kind of weak and easy to take out is the best strategy to try to get your 50 coins every single day. Hopefully every single day, someone will go and knock out that weak Pokemon from a gym and you'll get your 50 coins. If you're wondering what Pokemon are going to be the best to drop into gyms, I actually do have a full video Video breaking down the best gym defenders, it will be linked below. We also cover some other strategies in that video about the scare tactic, which is dropping Pokemon with really high CPs in gyms to motivate people to not battle it. And also why dropping lower CP Pokemon into gyms can sometimes be better because lower CP Pokemon actually lose their motivation slower. Go check out that video after this one if you want to fully prep up on your gym system. So yeah, those are the two strategies for gymming in Pokemon Go. There's another way to get Pokecoins and it's actually going to take us outside of the app. Survey apps. Data is one of the most valuable currencies of this generation. And there is a way for you to sell your thoughts and ideas to advertisers for a little bit of extra cash. That sounds really sussy when I say it, but listen up. <laughs> Come onto your app store and search survey apps. And all of these apps here are apps that you can go ahead and do surveys for a little bit of free money. These apps will then take your answers, sell them to advertisers so they can get a better idea of, you know, where to place their products, et cetera, et cetera, advertising stuff. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, then of course you can skip this section, but we will be testing some apps here that are safe, that have been used by the community for many years. Before we do get into this though, I'm just gonna say not all these apps might be available for you in your country. Depending on if you're on Apple or Android, if you live in Canada or if you live in India, different apps are not available globally. So you might have to do your own research on which survey apps are the best for your area, but let's go through the ones I use. Number one and most safe is gonna be Google Opinion Rewards. This is one that's most used in the Pokemon Go community. Go ahead and open it up. And pretty much we're gonna complete surveys to earn Google Play credit. When you open the app, every once in a while you will get a survey. Note they are kind of rare, but 
as you can see here one we have a new survey available we can then go ahead and answer the survey it'll ask us some questions looking at the image have you seen this character on screen on your google search yes yeah, sure <laughs> i think i actually saw it think about when you first saw the character on the screen and one word how did it make you feel uh, happy i don't know how did this character make you feel? what are these questions how did it make me feel when i first saw it moderately positive positive. and there you go i got 48 cents from completing that one little one minute survey now i have 48 cents in google crepe credit which i can go ahead and use on pokemon go once i get enough to buy you know one dollar poke coins or you can save up even more they do actually expire though for example this one expires on may 1st so you might have to buy like one coin at a time you can also use these coins though to buy the one dollar community special research which is pretty nice just to prove i've done this like like literally I've gained $28.93 through doing surveys over the years. So this is tried, true and tested. I've done this before. Again, the rewards do expire. So you kind of have to use them quick. You can't really stock them up, but that's Google Opinion Rewards. Now Google Opinion Rewards is clearly the safest one, but you might not have access to it. So I'd recommend searching survey apps here and you can go ahead and do your own research to find out which one of these apps here are kind of safe to use. I know last time I used Poll Pay and overall it's got a 4.3 rating. It's got 10 million plus downloads. Check out what the reviews are saying. It's been a fun adventure it does take time to add up there's also a bad review here it takes time to accumulate points i've used poll pay it's not bad i've also used zap surveys before it's not bad either but you do need a 25 dollars to check out i would just take time to familiarize yourself with these apps read the reviews if you do not have access to google opinion rewards and try to find one that works for you usually survey apps take a decent amount of time to grind up money but can be a great way to get a little bit of extra money to invest in pokemon go if you have any survey apps that you've been using in the past that were great for you let us know in the comment section below and maybe you can help someone out who is looking for a good app for them to use now i know i know i can hear it in the comments people are going to be saying you're going to spend thousands of hours on survey apps to get a couple cents towards pokemon go so not worth it like get a job and i agree if you have the option to get a job even something as simple as mowing lawns washing cars i don't know sweeping driveways whatever kind of jobs you can find in your area and you're getting paid 10 bucks an hour that's a lot better than spending a lot a lot of time on survey apps but unfortunately, not everyone can get a job. Not everyone, you know, you might not be old enough or whatever. And survey apps might be the only way for you to go. I remember when I was young, I used to help my brother with his paper route and all that money I would take. And then I would go to the store and buy a Google Play or an Apple gift card. And then I would put that money onto my phone to buy coins for Clash of Clans and things like that. Even if you don't want to get a simple job like that, you can get an actual job like working at McDonald's or working at, you know, a retail store. That time invested is going to be probably a lot more of a payout than spending an hour or, you know, however long on these survey apps getting a lot less money. The best thing you can do, of course, is going to get a job Job, but the survey apps is technically free money from just, you know, a quick little survey. That leads to the final section, which I do want to talk about how Pokemon Go could improve the coin system. Yes, because like that is literally it. That is the only way to get coins in Pokemon Go is through gymming or buying them with money or doing survey apps, which is technically just buying them with money. Number one, I think Pokemon Go should add a system in which you can get daily tasks to complete for Pokecoins. Things like, you know, catch a Pokemon or catch a shiny or complete a raid gets you five Pokecoins. It doesn't have to be a lot. This would not only allow us to get more Pokecoins, but it would motivate us to go outside and do these tasks, especially something like walk five kilometers gets you 10 Pokecoins. Like I'm sure people would be out walking because that's a great way to grind Pokecoins. They can cap it to a certain amount a day. That's fine. But just having more available options to get Pokecoins other than gymming would be amazing. Number two, adding some sort of way to increase the speed or get more coins from gymming. Some sort of item or some special legacy move you can teach your Pokemon that maybe allows you to get Pokecoins from gyms at double speed. So every four hours and 10 minutes, you get 50 coins. This would be an amazing addition to Pokemon Go because I feel like the gymming system is one of the most outdated ones. It has not been updated the 50 coins every single day or rarely been updated since the release of Pokemon. Pokemon Go. I think if there's anything Niantic should be updating right now, it should be the gym coin system. Allow us to either get more coins, get coins in a different way, completely change the gym coin system, make all the Pokecoins available through tasks. Nonetheless, let me know in the comments section below which way they should go ahead and upgrade the system because I know you guys have way more ideas than me. It's about time the gym system gets an update. Nonetheless, I hope this video helped you guys get more Pokecoins in Pokemon Go. Comment below anything that I might have missed or any tips you have for people who might be following these strategies and follow for more tips. Peace.